I'm Vincent Zuniga. I'm a certified rigger. I'm responsible for inspecting the rigging, determining its capacity, and properly attaching it to the load. I'm going to explain how to determine the safe working load for the rigging. The safe working load is a number that represents one-fifth of the rigging lift capacity. Let me explain. The rigging needs to be five times stronger than the object you're going to lift. The safe working load is a number that represents one-fifth of the rigging capacity. To calculate the safe working load for rope, you use these three steps. Put the diameter into eighths. So for our example, it's three-quarter inch nylon, this right here. So you put the diameter in eighths, three-quarter, you convert it to six over eight. Number two, multiply the top number times the top number times the constant. These are our constants for the ropes. Manila is 20, polyethylene is 35, polypropylene is 40, and nylon is 60. So we use the six, six times six times 60. Six times six is 36, and then times 60 gives you 2,160. And number three, the answer is always in pounds. So the safe working load for the three-quarter inch nylon rope is 2,160 pounds. The capacity of the rope is around 11,000 pounds. However, it can only be used for loads of 2,160 pounds or less. Now for the safe working load for wire rope, you multiply the diameter times the diameter times eight. So for this example, it's half inch wire rope. So it's half inch times half inch times eight over one. It gives you eight over four, which can be reduced to two. So the answer is always in tons. So the safe working load for the half inch wire rope is two tons. The wire rope can be used for rigging on loads of two tons or less. Thank you.